Hey everyone, let's work on this calculator. So we need to declare two variables, uh, n1 and n2, and some char, which is going to be our operator. And we want to basically create a calculator here, right? So we want to do some plus minus uh, multiplication and division. And so uh, let's see. Yeah, we do, basically we're just going to make a calculator here. Let's make a main method. And let's declare all of the variables that we need. So, for example, n1 can be equal to some number. Uh, it doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, we'll have n2 equal to some other number. And then we'll have a char, which is our operator. Um, I guess if we want to follow, we can call it math operator. But it doesn't really have to uh, match the name exactly. That's not really too important. But that operator will be, will be one of the mathematical operations here. Uh, plus minus uh, or multiplication division. Any other operator will actually be invalid. Um, so for this one, let's use a switch because that's the best way to match with uh, one of the known values. So switch will be checking the math operator. And let's just define all of our cases. We'll have case of plus and let's make sure to use proper character. There we go. Uh, we'll have the case of minus. We'll have the case of, let's see, uh, multiplication will be star. And then we'll have case of division. And once again, I need the valid single quote, not the double quote. All right, so these are all our known cases. Now, the other uh, case I want to add here is the default case. In the default case, I want to uh, basically not do any operation and just return that this was an invalid operator. Uh, so how do I want to do this? I guess we can put everything into the result, like we could actually do the whole calculation. Uh, the one downside here with like the one issue we're facing is this is supposed to print invalid operator. And I do, I like I have to kind of treat this carefully because if I just put a print statement here and then that's it, uh, we may face an issue after the switch. So we're just thinking about how to approach this. Um, I guess the way that I'm going to choose to do this is to make a result variable. So the string result, and we'll just assign the final result uh to to this uh because i don't seem like it seems like i don't really care about the data type like here i'm just printing 30 at the end uh i'm just gonna put the result in a string um and again i'll show you why we need to do it this way at the end so because uh we don't care about how we are using this calculator i'm going to choose to just use put the result in a string type uh to avoid any uh possible issues so I'm going to do each one. Result is equal to uh, n1 plus n2. Okay, and then this is going to be uh, returned as a string. So I'll just put an empty space in the beginning. Okay, but I need to do it carefully. I'm going to put this in quotation marks because I want to do addition first, then concatenate it. Uh, after that, I will break. And then I need to repeat that similar logic for all of these cases. So I will go ahead and say, uh, in each case, I will put it, uh, result is equal to the minus, the multiplication, and the division. Okay. Uh, and then the default case is going to have a result equal to just invalid operator. There we go. Now again, why did I do it this way? It's because if I printed in the default, I would have to print in all the cases, which is fine. Uh, we're basically done here. So maybe I'll show some alternatives. Right, this will, let's just test it out really quickly. So here I'm getting 30 because I'm doing addition. Uh, let's do maybe a multiplication to just test. So now it's giving 200, perfect. 
Um, instead of this syntax, um, some other alternatives I could have done. Uh, I guess let me copy this thing. And we can comment it out. Uh, for other approaches, you could have just done this whole operation in a print statement directly. Just n1 plus n2. Because that's all we cared about anyway, it seemed like, is just the output in the console. Um, if we did care about uh, the like the data type of the result, then we would need to consider some other options. For that one, we would have need to maybe make an int uh, result and then assign uh, the calculation for each of those uh, one at a time. So, uh, for example, this would be like result one maybe because we already have a result in the uh, in the beginning. So we had to assign uh, the calculations here, and it would actually not be an int. We need to do a double because our calculation was double based. So as you can see, there's different um, options that you could have taken. If you made all of them print statements like this, if you made them all in a return, uh, like a one one variable like this for double, all of them would work. Um, you have to be careful with how you approach the default case because sometimes maybe it'll print when you don't mean to print and there's ways around that, but I just wanted to emphasize those. So uh, I guess I'll go ahead and just delete those. Those are just showing you small um, alternatives that you could have done. But uh, again, the first thing is always making sure that the code works and then you can always adjust from there. So thank you. See you on the next one.